guys and welcome back to my Maggie Holmes Flourish embellishment series <laughs> episode I don't even know <laughs> so um, I showed a little video snippet on my Instagram these cute little um, embellished tickets um, you don't need a die you don't need a punch like for the actual ticket part they came out super cute. They're a little bit smushed in there. You can't really tell that those are bows. So, first things first, um, you can do that de the design on a regular ticket. These tickets, I know they sell, well, these ones are pink. These are different. But they sell, like, colorful ones at, like, Dollar Tree and, you know, the 99 cent store. I, I've seen them. Um, I had gotten these pink ones off of Etsy, like, a while ago. Um, also, there is a little b um like punch and it punches them out in like strips so you can also use that it has the little like edges like a real ticket um this one is a little shorter than the example i was using probably by like an eighth of an inch barely but um so i started with one and i was going to show you like um i make to make the tickets, you cut a rectangle, two inches, by one inch. Oof. Just a regular um, standard size hole punch and go a little bit on the edge. Not too deep because then it starts curling like that one. Not curling, but trying to make a full circle again. Then, in the center, you barely, not even, you probably, guys probably can't see that, but it doesn't even look like it's going to cut. That's how much it's not on there, and it makes a good indent still. So, the less is better. And that's how you make a ticket. Like I showed, you can make it three ways. The punch, the handmade ticket from a rectangle, or tickets already made. So those are three options. Just walk you through the process of what like what I was doing. Um, so this first piece, um, I either do like scrap pieces of paper and then some type of like font or word as like the second the second piece um, or opposite. So I think this one I like the words. Um, and they do, like, this one's kind of thin. This first little piece is like a fourth of an inch wide, this flower piece of paper. Um, I do like the way it looks when it's a little bit thicker than that. Fatter, whatever you want to call it. And then I just decide what I want on the paper, and then I'll trim accordingly what side I need to trim. Okay. So then for this layer... Um, I put like the thinner puff dots. As you can tell, these ones are way thicker. I use those for the back of the embellishment. Um, these ones are just to give it a little dimension off the page. They're way th you know, thinner. And I put two. And just a little bit from, I mean, you can go on either side, left, right, wherever. I just happen to do all of mine on the left hand side. I didn't think about it till after I did it that I was like, mm, I probably should have switched it up. Oh well. So since I did more of a font one, I was using tickets like this from the Maggie Holmes Cut Apart tickets and I was cutting little slivers to add, you know, as that top layer. Very skinny slivers. So this one, because I have like a font, I'm going to do a floral, um, you know, little piece on the side. Uh, I already have pink in this one, and I'm going to pair the two together, so I definitely want something um, different. Yellow or blue. I'll probably do blue. Get a little, little bit of hot glue. And I place it just so it like 
is a little bit higher than this first piece of paper I laid down and it kind of just chills there. It doesn't need puffy dots or anything. Puffy dots, puffy stickers, whatever they're called. Um, then once I have them like the colors laid out and they're next to each other because they're a pair, um, I got a lot of these, some of these trims at like the 99 cent store. Others I've had left over from my party shop. So I'm just going to, you know, do colors that contrast with this. Let's see, so we'll do a yellow shade of blue, blue and yellow. Yeah, I like those colors. So for this, I just get about like several, four, three, four inches, and I hold it down with my thumb. It's easier to do that, and I wrap around about seven times, or until it looks good. Cut some off. And I just tie it in like I would be tying my shoe. And right now it's a big giant ugly bow that's lopsided. Um, I just put my finger down on the knot and then pull the little legs. And then I go in again and pull really tight on the bow and just trim off. And I kind of let the um, the legs just flow freely wherever they're at. And then I use my, um, my mini stapler. And no, this is not a mini stapler. These are both mini staplers. They are two totally different things. Um, let me show you. found the staples as you can see the mini mini staples are literally half the size of a normal standard staple um, they are just so cute I think it adds that extra touch um, I just staple down to, I, to keep <laughs> keep the bow there and it you know gives a little bit of texture um, I think it looks cute that way um, then where'd my, where'd my other ticket go Oh, I threw him like he was trash. Okay. So then the other one, do the same thing. Super cute. And then you can just slide these strings down if they're not like in the right uh, position. Trim the strings. Mini staple it down. Um, I will link down below. Um, what, um, this is the Tim Holtz one. It was like 12 or maybe 14, 15. I don't remember. Um, but I'll leave a link down below. I really do like this stapler. Um, next, I, oh, here they are. My enamel dots. Um, these are, these specific ones with these sizes are from my girl Allie. I just place them um, you could do this step before or after I do it after I like to make it I mean it was cute as it was but I like to make a little flag on this you know first piece that we did how cute is that right with the bigger thicker um, foam dots just put one down on the center and I leave the other um you know the waxy protective sheet on the sticky part still so now they are dimensional they are puffy they're cute okay so now we have our embellished tickets so for the baggies, um, I was going to stick three tickets in the baggie size that I've been using a lot lately. But I was like, you know what, let's start using these middle sized ones. So that's why I only put um, two tickets. So. 
And so for this, it still has that, you know, shiny protective sheet on it. Mm. Just put them on to see where I want them first. Put it barely. See the almost like the flag lines up to the edge because I want some space at the top for my um, paper topper. Just holding it down until it dries. And then slide them on in. I probably should have did this in my um, my other one. Fix the bows while the packaging is still open, but oh well. So then, from um, gathering jewels on Instagram, um, probably around Valentine's Day, I think it was, she posted um, several photos of her using like her punches and her border edges and scissors and whatnot. Like instead of, you know, buying a bag dye, you can just, you know, make your own. You don't need a dye. Anyway, I just cut some papers down. I pre-cut some papers down. Um, whatever the length is that you want to cover, you do that times two because you want to cover the back part. Um, mine was a little off, but you're not going to be able to see that. Like in the back, you're not going to be able to see. So then, once when it's folded in half, um, try to center the best you can, eyeballing it, um, half circle, and punch. Um, then this trim from Hobby Lobby. I just got about two and a half inches. Um, I shaped the ribbon the way that I wanted the loop to look before I even stuck it in. Okay. I cut that edge off for run glue on the very edges of the front. Um, I just glue it to one side. Glue it to one side, it'll be easier. So like this, you know? Yes, that's what I would do. Okay. Trial and error, guys. Okay, so I would just glue it to the one side. So that way you still can, like, move these around. Okay, guys, once again, my video cut off. We almost made it to the end. Um... So I glued um, the paper on the back side and the front side, and then I just, you know, stuck it on. I sandwiched it on. Then for the tops, as you can see, I did some gold foiling um, paper, but it was only um, from this pad, so it wasn't very big. Um, this is my favorite paper pad from the Flourish Collection. There is three sizes. There's the 6x6. Six the um this is a six by eight and then the 12 by 12 12 by 12 has no gold foiling so the six by eight i think is the best one and it's my favorite and i'm down to like two pages um so anyway i ran out so that's why i did like this floral plant print um i used again the hobby lobby trim in like a peachy color for the gold and then for the white one, I used the gold Hobby Lobby trim because it just stood out more. Um, the peach kind of blended in with the white paper. So that's what I did. Um, so yeah, these are them. I think they turned out super cute. I'm slowly but surely filling two like little box things that I have full of handmade embellishments. Um, so I'm super excited. I like looking at it. It's pretty. I guess I got to stare at it for a little bit before I just, you know, give it all away. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Catch you on the next video.